Y you know, I actually have no idea what this means. But we're gonna talk about it today on Elon Rich News. I mean, it's not like a TV show. You can't just like cancel a person. But you can a career. Yeah, but brother, I, 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 I was saying. <laughs> it's your favorite comedian, Elon Rich, and I got a lot to say about the news today. Twitter decided to cancel Cardi B after she decided to defend her man's comments in a song. The song by YFN Lucci called Boss Life because you probably expect a lot of political correctness from somebody named YFN Lucci. In the song, Offset was rapping and decided to rhyme solitaire with queer. And it wasn't just that he said queer, it's what he said in the sentence. I can't vibe with queers. Now here's the thing, when I first heard about this, I was like, hold on, it's Domingos. Are you sure this is what they said? He said that Second, I was thinking to myself, hold up now, this is Domingos. Are you really expecting political correctness from the Migos. Listen to the name Migos. Is this like, is this a plural? Like, are they Migo when they're alone? It's supposed to be like, friend, amigo. But they are the Migos. I'm confusing myself. Offset literally said in a song, kissing your daughter got dick on your mouth. I don't care how old your daughter is. There is no moral compass in that. Use some mouthwash or something, damn. My point here is if you are looking for a moral compass when you are listening to the Migos, you will be sorely disappointed. You wanna know something you never heard anybody say? You know what, man, I need to know what's going on in my community. I need to feel like there is hope for black people. What should I listen to right now? No, forget that Kendrick Lamar. I'm about to listen to the Migos. The Migos tells me what's going on in my community. Bad and bougie. Cooking up dope with the Uzi. Yeah, motorsport. Put that thing in sport. It's the Migos. Now, I'm not defending what he said. I can't vibe with queers. It's a very strange way of describing a lane. But I'm just saying, it's the Migos. He even decided to apologize on Instagram, and it didn't go so well. He said, I did not write that line about gay people. I've said before, since these issues, before that I got love for all people. My passion for fashion has led me around a lot of gay people. Okay, let's not pull the I got a black friend card, okay? Around me, I have mad respect for and we are very cool, so I'm not in a place where I'm hating like that. Like I said, this is the Migos, or this is a Migo. When I wrote that, I was thinking of words that could rhyme with others. Like, have you heard the Migos? Motorsport, put that thing in sport. Sport don't rhyme with sport. They just trying to find words that rhyme with that word. I could tell you right now, he probably just put in what rhymes with, with, with Sagitt. <laughs> he probably just put in what rhymes with solitaire on Google and that's what came up. Sorry, I, I can't words right now. And I saw this definition of her having a queer feeling she was being watched and it fit with what I was thinking about a stalker, creepy paparazzi situation. To me, that queer, I don't mean someone who's gay. I mean lame people who film you, post it, stalk you. Lingo that means strange or odd. I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm offended. I offended anybody. If you end an apology that you're offended, you f***ed up. Come on, amigos. All you literally had to do was say sorry. 
That's all you had to do. Now let's get into when Cardi B fits into this. Cardi B decided to defend her man and she said, quote, now that's a word that you guys say and that's a bad word for gays. This is the worst Cardi B impression you will ever see. I ain't never said, I, I ain't never said no word. Why, why, why don't y'all educate people about it? Our school never teach us that these are bad words. Like I said, it's Amigo. Then fans were like, why? Why are you defending him? All you had to do was sit there and shut up. Hashtag me too. Please tell me you caught that joke. My problem with that is that some of you women have defended your man for doing way worse we don't talk about what your man did with your sister at the Thanksgiving table. Now, I say this not to defend Cardi B or Offset. I'm just saying, look in the mirror and understand, you are not Amigo. True fans of Offset probably don't even care or notice that they said this. They was just smoking weed, listening to rap music. But then you got those conscious people that decided, you know what, I want to listen to some conscious rap. I'ma turn on YFN Luchi. Cause YFN Luchi, he probably gonna talk to me, talk to my soul. Now let me know in the comment section what you think about this story. Do you feel like Cardi B should've just kept her mouth closed? Do you applaud her for standing by her man? How do you feel about these lyrics? These lyrics that he can't vibe with queers. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Be sure to like this video, share it on Facebook, subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can maybe reach a thousand by the time February 20th comes around and I can still monetize. And uh, yeah, also follow me on Twitter. I have a Twitter, Elon Rich, E-N-T. Instagram, Elon Rich. Uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook.com slash Elon Rich. I'm sorry, my mind is like, I haven't even had breakfast. I'm just trying to record. I'm Elon Rich. Peace. Now look at you walking in here looking all pretty and angry and mean and good. <laughs> I know you didn't get your head down so you can just sit down and just sit still. Hey, we trying to have a good time tonight. Let's go, baby. Let's go.